Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi, Ashita. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. You're using laptop, right? Yeah, I'm using the laptop. Oh, okay. I can't hear. See you. Uh, I can see you. Yes. Hmm. Is it fine now? Mm, yes, yes. Now I can see. Okay, fine. So tell me one thing. I have sent you some videos on that uh, WhatsApp. Did you watch them? Did you get time to watch any one I, of them? I watched. You watched one. Okay. So in that, I have told about that uh, pronunciation, right? Yes. Okay. So were you able to understand anything from that? I was. I uh, read all the letters. Mm. A B C D. Yeah. And uh, a little bit of the rules. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like after two consonants, it's just uh, a, and then after one consonant, it's good. a. Good. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. That. That's all. Okay. I have shared my screen. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. Fine. So we'll start now. Okay. First, uh, tell me in brief, like what is the exact requirement? Why you want to learn German? Just brief me about that a little bit. I actually aim at completing A2 in two months. I don't hmm. know if that is possible. That is possible in one to one. Everything is possible. All that is possible. But what is the purpose to learn? Everything is possible. Okay. I want to uh, continue doing this degree. So mm -hmm. I have finished like 1.5 years of my dental degree right now. Okay, good. Okay, okay. But I am going to do it in Germany since my dad has allowed me now to go. So okay. now I want to take admission in the summer semester. Earlier I thought I do not really need uh, all these uh, A2 level takka because no, English no, no. kahi hai. All the, in dental, uh, is it English? Okay, okay. English taught curriculum. Okay. Uh, but uh, then mm -hmm. some institute told me that you need mm -hmm. to know at least till B1. I don't know if it is possible. Yeah. Till See, B1 for normal uh, other medical fields, na, it is actually not till B1, it is for B till B2 for other medical fields. Okay, B2 and then you have something called as medical C1. So many doctors are learning from us. So they go through that only. That is, uh, like uh, B1 tak, then I do side by side. Yeah, yeah, that you can do. But I am telling you, generally for other medical fields, no, like uh, I am, I have less of idea about dental. But yeah, uh, non-dental other fields which you have, no, other medical yeah. fields. So all of them they do till B2, A1, A2, B1, B2, and then they go for that medical C1. It's a small module of C1, not complete C1. Okay, it's a small part of C1 that is the medical C1, which is related to your medical uh, domain only completely. So yeah. that they finish in Germany. Medical C1 they do in Germany mostly. Okay, from India they go by doing A1 till B2. So yeah, for you as of now, uh, you target whatever you know whatever time you have A1 or A1 A2 whatever you find it's good. Go through that. Okay, and after that, my suggestion is that that you finish everything till B2. Okay, when you go to Germany, you parallelly take the classes from there. With see our classes are one to one, so you can manage your timings accordingly. It's very much flexible. There is no problem of missing a class or. Uh, any time problem, time constraint, nothing. You take your break in between, you want one day gap, five day gap, ten days gap, all that is possible. Okay, yeah. with doctors, that scenario is very common. So, that is the thing, you can do like that. Uh, but the point is that you try to do till that uh, B2 as early as possible within the next one year because that will be very, very good for your higher studies there and for your further jobs and internships, everything. Okay. Right, because see, you are from medical field. Simply, you can understand in very uh, in terms of uh, uh, if I tell you in layman language what happens. You know, if a patient comes there, right? Mm -hmm. How will you diagnose him if you don't know his native language? Right, all yeah. of them they don't know English. Okay, so only English will be. You know, if your university is English taught curriculum, then only till there you can survive. But once you work there, anyhow, you have to become fluent in the language. Okay. Otherwise, you will not be able to get the job. You will not be able to work as simple as that. So, keep that thing in mind. Okay, don't learn German just for the sake of admission or just just the sake of a formality. Ki nahi, hai, A1, let's do A1, A2. Baad mein dekh lenge, let's see later. Don't do like that because you know unnecessarily if a gap comes in between, you will forget everything. So, if you are starting A1, do A1, A2. Then you go to Germany, whatever, whenever you are going summer or whenever, and as soon as possible you go for A2 or B1 or B2 also. Okay, try to finish everything by next December. You have one year in hand. Okay, okay. one year is more than sufficient. We finish A1, A2 in next uh, three, four, two, three months, whatever time you have. And then take next six, seven months to finish till B2. But try to finish everything by end of next year. So that you are you are free from this and you can actually focus on your actual purpose for which you are going there. Okay, right. 
Yeah. Okay. So now we will start with our topic. Okay, no need to write down anything. All this PDF, everything I will be sharing with you today. Today it is our first lecture, kind of demo lecture. Okay. <laughs> so as you have seen in the video, in the first lecture, see when we start a language, we start with the pronunciation. We start with the script. We start with the A B C D. What are the sounds like that? So first of all, I am playing one video. That is the German A B C D video. Okay. <laughs> Right, uh, just like uh, you have the A B C D in English, A B C D E F G, like that you have a video here, A B C D. These are the German names of letters. Okay, the German alphabets. In English alphabets, the script is same, same A B C D, but in English they have a different sound, different name. In German they have a different sound and a different name. Okay, so I am playing this video. Try to listen to it. I'll play it twice. A B C D E F G. Okay, so you have to repeat with me. A B C D. Speak. A B C D. A B C D. A F G. A F G. H I J K. H I J K. L M N O P. L M N O P. Q R S T. Q R S T. U V O V. U V O V. And then next is X Y Z. Epsilon Z. Okay. The word unt. They say unt. The word unt is end. Okay. When you write this unt, that means end. So x epsilon unt set. So there you will have either you can say x epsilon unt set or you can just say x epsilon set like this. Okay. Simple. Huh? Clear now. Uh, right. Okay. Speak once again. A B C D. A B C D. Hmm. A F G. A F G. Yeah, ha e yot ka, ha e yot ka, l m n o p, l m n o p, q r s t, q r s t, q v o v, q v o v, x y z, x y z. So where you will you need this? See in your exam or whenever you go to some government office, you might be required to speak the letters of your name. Whenever you are telling your name, so people, everyone does not know English, right? So if I write your name, if you say A Y S H I T A, no one will understand. So you have to use the German letters, okay? A Y S H I T A, like this, right? So learn your name with this, and in your A one exam also they ask the it's a very typical question. Always they ask you to pronounce the letters of your name. So I have sent you this video, okay? You can download it later and keep on listening to it. Three four times. Fine. Yes. Okay. So now we'll start with the actual topic of the pronunciation, the sounds. Okay. So far, what we did, we did that uh, just the A B C D. Now we'll start with the sounds. So here I have opened one file. Okay. Try to understand this. See, so far what we did, we just did the names of letters A B C D. Now we have to see the sounds. That what is the sound of A? What is the sound of B? Like that. Okay, so German, as you know, it uses the same Roman sort of letters, same A B C D till Z, which we have in English. There are two parts, vowels A E I O U, consonants B C D till Z. Okay, now first of all, I am drawing one table. The table is B D G P T K. Okay, whenever the word is ending with B D and G in German, if the word is ending with B D and G, the sound will be per T and K respectively. Okay, P T and K, per T and K. So speak this example right hand side. What is written here? Gip next, Ken Tak. Okay, G in the end is K Tak. Clear? Gip means give, Ken is child, Tak is day. So meanings you can ignore right now. Just understand the sound. Meanings we'll take after second lecture. So Gip, Ken, Ten, Tak. Okay. Then next is A. A is having two sounds, A and A. Right? A is having two sounds, A and A. What is the rule? Okay. After A, you have to do the count counting of consonants. This B C D till Z. These are the consonants. So do the counting. A L T. Tell me how many consonants after A? Two. 
directly two are there then f r a g e and how many after a yeah. only one right so the rule is after a if it is one consonant it will have the a sound otherwise a sound okay so speak this example alt alt next pragan pragan good then e is having the a sound okay there is no counting just the a sound speak the example s n hmm egal egal s n n egal okay then after that next is i is having two sounds long e and short e okay i is having two sounds long e and short e after i if it is one consonant then long e otherwise it is short e so speak the example ist ist hm uh, wider wider built built ist wider and built okay clear ist wider and built any doubt so far no then okay see here g i b after i how many consonants one one so long e g b then k i n d after i how many two, two. that becomes short e kent then after i how many one tak g b kent and tak okay a e i next is o o is having two sounds o for korea or o for oman and second is o for awesome okay and the same rule you have to do the counting after if it is one consonant then o otherwise o for awesome okay so see the first example o d e r speak order order next zol zol single s is z okay single s is z double s is s so zol next then monat monat next cord cord good order zol monat and cord okay next is u is having u normal u sound neither it is too short nor it is too long right so speak the example Tone. Tone. Next. Then motor. Motor. Next. Shoe. 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 Okay. S H is sh. Right. S H is having the sh sound. That is having the shoe. S H is sh. Okay. It's a consonant combination. Sh sound that becomes shoe. Simple. Okay. Then after that, the next one which we have is uh, yeah. See this S H is sh. H in the And is silent. Okay, this rule you will see today after the in the consonant. So this becomes shu. Now next which we have is the consonant b. First consonant is b. Okay, so b if you remember the table b d g p t k right. B in the end is p and beginning or middle is b for Bombay. Right. B in the end is p. Beginning or middle is b for Bombay. So speak the example. Belen. Belen. Next. Uh, open. Open. Next. Then corp. Corp. Next. Then gip. Gip. Okay. B in the end is p. That becomes gip. Simple. Got it. Belen. Open. Corp. And gip. Next is c is having the k. K for kite. K sound. Speak the example. Camping. Camping. It's an English word, so you can speak like camping also. Camping. Right. Next is b. D in the end is t. B D G P T K D in the end is T. Beginning or middle is D for dog, right? Speak the example. Do. Dome. Next. Okay. Speak the fourth example. B A D. Bat. Bat. Not bat. Bat. After a one consonant, a sound. Bat. Okay. Then H A N D. Right. Uh, after a two consonant, speak. Hand. 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 Okay. Not hand. Little bit. A and a mix. Hand. Now see your second example. B E I D E. This E I is a vowel combination. Vowel combination means actually what they have done. They have combined some letters and they have fixed their sounds. Okay. So whenever you have E I coming, you will not break it into E and I separately. You have to you have to learn the sound that E I sound is I always. Okay. And I E sound is E. E I I I E E. Remember that always. Okay. And E in the end is a. Uh, so this is by the speak. Bider and bider, bider. Okay, bider and bider. Got it. Next is f. F is for for sound. Okay, so f a u l. This a u is again it's a vowel combination. A u is ow. 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 A u is ow. So speak the example. Foul. 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 Next is sharp. 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 Okay. After a one consonant and s h is sharp consonant combination that becomes sharp. Tell me any doubt so far? Clear? We had one, but I forgot. Tell me, tell me. 
Okay, I'll give you five ten minutes to revise. Then you can note it if you can ask me if you face any problem. Okay. Next is G. G in the end is K, right? G in the end is K. B D G P T K and beginning of middle is G for gun. Right. So you can see constants are very easy. Right. Very less rules are there. Almost like mostly like English only. So G in the end is K. Beginning or middle is G for gun. Speak the example. Gegen. Gegen. Next. Tak. Tak. Next. Kluk. Kluk. Gegen. Tak and kluk. Next is H. H is very important. H in the beginning is H. Okay. H in the beginning is H. Middle or end it is silent. Right, middle or end it is silent. So speak the example. Halt. 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 Ha. Yeah, little bit. I have to put halt. Halt. Next. Then gain. Gain. Silent. And zen. Okay. Halt. Gain and zen. Zen. Okay. Clear now. Mm, right. Next is J. J is ear. Ear sound. Okay. J is ear for yellow. Speak the sound example. Younger. Younger. Okay, got it now. Younger. Younger. Let me any doubt till J. Simple. No. Okay. Next is K L M N P. Same sound like English. Kala mana pa? Same sound. Okay. So speak the example. Cluster. 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 Okay. Hmm. Uh, she. She can. She can. Next. Then a uh, killer. Killer. Next. Killer. Will. Will. Be. Next. Yeah. Then uh, admin. Admin. Next. Then a uh, swim. Hmm. Swim. Uh, then is a uh, running. Running. Next. Then a use a brown. 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 Okay. Cluster, chicken, color, will, atman, shrimp, renin, brown, and last is lipper. Lipper. Okay, got it now. Simple. Okay, so first of all, what I'm doing, I'm sending you this PDF file, right? Download it and go through it for five seven minutes. And then we'll discuss it again from the top. Okay, now you can download it from your Skype chat. Devise it for five ten minutes. After that, you will explain me everything. Okay, then we'll move ahead of P. Got the file? I am not very good at. Yeah, come, I think. Come to your Skype chat. Come to your Skype chat. Ah, got it. Got it? Okay.
okay done okay so you can start with the first rule okay explain me the rule in short and speak the examples also okay yeah start from the rule and speak the examples in with b hmm is pronounced as b d is the hmm. and g in the end is k okay then hmm so the examples are d kent and tak next then uh, in the vowels in a we have to count the consonant and if there are like if there is a single consonant it's pronounced as a mm. and uh, if there is uh, two consonants then it's o like mm. o mm. trag tragen then e is pronounced as a s n e gal because uh, l single consonant then uh, i is pronounced as e or e yeah uh, e is when directly after uh, the single consonant okay then this is is hmm there be there or be there be there be there be there okay hmm uh, be there built hmm yeah. uh, o is uh, o or o hmm uh, order order next order hmm uh, then zol next cor Next. Okay. Uh, U is O. Tune. Matter. Shoe. Then uh, in consonants, if the B is in the starting or in the middle, then it's B. Mm. And if it is in the end, it's P. Belen. Oven. Corp. And E. Yeah. Then uh, camping. Mm. It's like. Okay. Camping. Next. D. D if it is in the end it's T otherwise it's T or uh, two because two consonants after U then uh, E I is O uh, E I S I I yeah I okay uh, so by the be there bath and uh, hunt be there bath and hunt hunt Next F. But ये uh, एक के बाद there is two consonants so it should be hunt or hunt. Hunt, hunt. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, is that is that like an exception or something because hunt D in the end is the D in the end is the ना hunt. Okay. So don't make it like basically mix of the and the. Don't make it full the. Never call it as hunt. Okay, it's hunt. D and T mix. Hunt. Okay. Next F. Foul. Hmm. Foul. And then the uh, sharp. Sharp. Yeah. Uh, G in the end is go, and otherwise uh, it's go. Hmm. Then it's G again. Hmm. And then it's talk. Crook. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then H is silent if in the hmm. middle or in the end. Hmm. In the beginning is halt, g, g n, and z. Okay. Then halt, g n, z. Next j is here. Younger. Hmm. Then uh, okay, so examples. Classer. Hmm. Classer. Hmm. Oh, uh, she can. Hmm. Keller. Hmm. Then Otman. Swim. Hmm. Renan Brown, Brown, Brown. Here. Okay, good. Now let's move ahead of P. Okay. So next, which we have is Q. Okay, you can see my screen. Next letter which we have is Q. Q always comes with U in German. Okay. Q always comes with U in German. Q U sound is qua. Right. Q U sound is qu. Q always comes with U, and the Q U sound is qu. So speak the example queer. Uh, This one queer. Queer. Right. Next is R. R is glutural. Glutural means something coming from inside of the neck. R like this. Dagal wala R. R. Okay. R. So yeah. So speak this example. Riser. This one. Riser. 
नेक्स्ट ब्रूडर एंड श्वेस्टर ब्रूडर एंड श्वेस्टर राइजर ब्रूडर एंड श्वेस्टर नेक्स्ट इज एस सिंगल एस इज द डबल एस इज सर ओके सिंगल एस इज एंड डबल एस साउंड इज सर सिंगल एस इज डबल एस इज सर सो स्पीक द एग्जांपल जिंगन श्लॉस जिंगन एंड श्लॉस राइट नेक्स्ट इज टी टी इज टी फॉर टोमैटो टी इज टी फॉर टोमैटो सो स्पीक द एग्जांपल टांकन टांकन एंड राटन ओके गुड नेक्स्ट इज वी एंड डब्ल्यू वी इज फॉर एंड डब्ल्यू इज वर Okay, V sound is for W is for. So example is Volkswagen. Simplest example, Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Right? Yeah. So it's a German company. Fox means people. Wagon means car. Volkswagen. Okay. Okay. Speak the remaining example. Feel. Uh, V I E S E. So hmm. feel. 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 For. 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 Feel. For. Hmm. Was. Uh. Waser. Waser. Then a uh, vegan. Hmm. And bo. Wo feel for Vasar Vegan and Wo. Okay, clear. Then next is X. X is X only. Okay, X in German is X only. Normal X. So speak the example. X is Stralen. Speak. X is Stralen. Correct. Okay, this image is little bit cut from here. Okay, X is X. Next is Y. Y is Ui. Okay, this image is little bit cut from here. Y is Ui. Ui. Speak the example. Twip. Twip. Okay, twip. Twip means type. Fine. Next is Z. Z is mix of ta and sa. Z is mix of ta and sa. Just like you have the word like walnuts. Okay. Or cuts or puts ta and sa mix. That is the sound of German Z. So this becomes sight. Speak sight. Yes. And sook. Sook. Good. Sight and sook. Okay. Simple now. Clear till here. Sight and sook. Next is S T S T is ista, okay? Ista. S T is ista, S P is ispa. Then your S C H is sha, S C H is sha. And next is T S C H is cha. This is important. T S C H is cha, okay? Cha. Yeah, cha, cha, cha. Many in many area they say sha also like Deutsch, but mostly they prefer cha, Deutsch, D E U T S C H, Deutsch, okay? And P F is for. Right, P F is for. So speak this example. Stool. Stool. Hmm. Next. This is S. Uh, S T. Yeah. Stool. Okay. Then a uh, straffe. Straffe. Hmm. Straffe. Next. E is A na. Straffe. Yeah. Okay. Then a uh, spillen. E in the end is a. Uh, that's why straffe. Not don't call it straffe. It's a straffe. Okay. Next, spillen. Spillen. Then a uh, spice. Spice. Hmm. Spice. Spice. Next, sport. Spice. Then sport. Hmm. Sport. Hmm. Then a uh, spray. Expression. Expression. Okay. Expression. Yeah. Next. Expression. Then a um, tougher. Tougher. Next. Third, then uh, fourth. Fed, fed, P F E R D, fed. Fed, okay. Fed, okay. Hmm. Okay, clear. P F E R D, fed. Right. Now, after this, the next one which we have is C H. So see here, C H is having two sounds, ka and sha. C H is having two sounds, ka and sha. Okay. What is the rule? Whenever C H comes after A O or U. Okay, try to understand this rule. Whenever C H comes after A O or U, after this if C H comes, it will have the K sound. Example, if I say knock, hawk, out. Okay, right? Hawk means high. There is a mountain in Switzerland, very famous uh, tourist place, Jungfrau Hawk, like this. Okay, these are yeah, it's a mountain. So hawk means high. You can see after a or u, whenever ch is coming, it will have the kh sound. Okay. Otherwise, it will have the sh sound. So if I say i c h ish or s p r e c h in expression. Infrared. Yes. Yes. Exactly. So you have you have visited there? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. So it's in Switzerland, right? 
Yes, so it's the same word. Okay, Jung means young, and okay, it's Jungfrau, not Jungfrau. It's a typo, Jungfrau. Yes, that's the spelling. So whenever it comes after a or u, it is the ka sound. Otherwise, sh. Sure. Okay, example, you can say ish, expression, station. Many words you can think. Okay, in some areas you will see the opposite accent. Some people you will find they are calling it as ik. On YouTube you will see many channel videos they are calling ik instead of ish. Okay, so we don't have to follow that uh, accent. So if you see in India, na, Kashmir Hindi different and Mumbai Hindi is different and Chennai Hindi is different like that. Okay, so little bit regional variations are there, but you have to follow this sound because this is like 99% applicable. Not only in Germany, in the other countries also like Switzerland, Austria, Belgium, everywhere, wherever you speak German. So this sound is the more common one. Okay, but sometimes you might see a person. Okay, you know, let's say if I have that opposite sound, then I will teach you the same opposite sound. So it might you might see a difference. Right? People have learned from different different sources. So if someone is learning German in Nigeria, he is coming to Germany, then he might have a different accent. It depends from what source they are learning. So you might see little bit regional variation. So uh, just uh, uh, take them normally. Okay, there is nothing like we are not doing wrong, and they are also not doing wrong. Little bit variations are there. But these are the more common ones. You have to always prefer this sound. Let them speak it. You will speak ish always. Okay. Mm, yeah. So speak this example. Ish. First one. Hmm. Then is a uh, chest. Take in. Station. Yeah. Station. Hmm. A station. Then a uh, teach. Hmm. Shul. Shula. Yeah. Schuler, okay, and uh, Deutsch. Schuler and Deutsch, Deutsch, D E U T S E H, Deutsch. EU is. EU is OI. EU is a vowel combination, EU is OI, okay, Deutsch. Deutsch, okay. EU is OI, so Deutsch. So I am sending you this PDF, revise this PDF till here, till this CH sound, only till here. Okay, only this till page number 3, then we will solve some words. Okay, I'll send you the file, you can download that. And after 5 minutes, we'll discuss them again, okay? We'll get on the Skype chat. Got it? Okay. Download. Download it and go through it for 5-7 minutes, second one. Or in the end is silent. Kind of silent, not always, okay? Kind of, only 20% silent. But don't make it full silent. Example, brooder, so don't call it brooder. Don't make it 100% silent, okay? Partially silent.
Yeah, ready? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Start from Q. Speak the rule and the example, okay? Q is square hmm. Hmm. and uh, R is uh, 20 percent silent, but it's Bruder yeah. and hmm. Schwester. Hmm. Then uh, Zingen. Zingen. Hmm. Hmm. Schloss. Then a uh, tongue, tongue mm. and Latin. Yeah. Then uh, V is for so Volkswagen mm. and the uh, W is for so feel for mm. Wasser, mm. V and Wo. Mm. Then X is X so extra X uh, Schralen. Hmm. X Australian, then X rays and hmm. uh, Y is uh, way. So we, twip. We, we, twip. Twip. Hmm. Okay, twip. Then uh, T S Z is T S. So Zeit, hmm. Zeit and Zug. Hmm. Okay. Then the examples. Uh, yes. Combinations here. Yeah. Schul. Hmm. Stool. 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 S T S T is Stool. 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 Then uh, strafe. Hmm. And uh, spielen. Hmm. Spice. Spicer. Spicer. Hmm. Sport. Hmm. And. Uh, so this is before E, so it will... Sport, Sport, Spicer, Sh Sport, yeah. Then, um, Sprechen. Sprechen, mm. it's after Sprechen. E, na? it's after Sh E for sure, Sprechen. Okay, and uh, Tapfer and Ferd. Ferd, Ferd, okay. Ferd, Ferd. Right? Clear now till here? Yes. Okay, good. Now, there are some words written here. Okay. So, go through the words for 2-3 minutes and then you can start speaking them one by one, the blue colors. Okay. This is just for practice. Go through them, first solve them in your mind and then after once you're ready, then you have to speak them after 2-3 minutes. Okay. Should I speak? Yeah. 
Okay, so it's a root, then gelp, po gelp, then magen, then freitag, hoot, heben, leren, haben, jodler, junge, jor, jar. वेकर किसन डॉनर डॉनर टेन गिवन हम्म डॉनर एंड गिवन ओके या नाउ सॉल्व दिस सेकंड पेज एंड देन आफ्टर दैट यू कैन स्टार्ट स्पीकिंग देम Okay, start now from here. Last one. Uh, so party. Hmm. Prize. Prize. Hmm. Prize. Next. And uh, tapete. Tapeta. Yeah. Tapeta. Hmm. Kupfer. Kupfer. Quark. Quark. Then qualification. 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 Then quitung. Hmm. Quitung. Then quorum. 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 Hmm. Then rosho. Rosho. Next. Rosho. Then rest. Hmm. Then foreign. Hmm. Water. Hmm. Then super. Hmm. Then is second. Lagen, yeah. Lagen, then uh, Mason, mm. Mason, mm. Mason, mm. then um, EU, Troy. then EU. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Troy. Troy, Troy. EU is oil, so Troy. Oil, yeah. mm. Troy. Mm. Uh, then flirt, mm. flopper. Hmm. And Bart. Flotta, Flotta, and Bart. Flotta, that's T. Okay. Yeah. Flotta. Bart. Okay. Good. So let's do till here. Okay. Today you revise. In the next class, now we'll be taking these uh, umlaut letters and vowel combinations that I will take in the next lecture. Okay. So today we'll not touch this because it will become too much. So just uh, revise till here first of all. Okay. So just wait a second. Let me end this. Okay now we decide accordingly as soon as possible we can start just uh, give me a minute